about you. But Good. yeah, I mean, TLO, he's had the uh, repetitive stress injury a little bit lately. It's, you know, put him a little off his game. So Desro got a chance to strike here. But TLO's looking good in the first game. Yeah. We'll see, man. From from what I saw of it, um, you know, he it's pretty standard play. He did a lot of dropping and just spread Desro really thin. Um, and Desro just quite simply wasn't able to handle it, wasn't able to get his third up. Um, and, and he typed out GG when TLO had a bunch of Marauders in his natural expansion, and his Nexus was about to go down. So uh, that's a this game, of game one for you guys. Yeah, it's, that's a, that's a short TLDR, whatever you want, whatever you want to call it. Um, but hopefully this game, uh, you know, it can it can get a little bit later. But yeah, TLO's looking looking pretty good, Wombat. Yeah, and Desro being manner, that's always nice to see. He he can get. He can get a little ragey, but he's taking this in good spirits, man. I always like to see. I like Desro when he's in a good mood. He is he is a, a a great guy when he's in a good mood. When he gets in a bad mood, he gets a little, it's a little feisty though. Oh, oh, uh, is that me? Uh, it says it's is it's that me? me? It says waiting for server on my end. What the hell, man? Wom uh... Oh, that's crazy. Wait, are you getting waiting for server too? No, it was just you. Okay, I have no idea what that was all about. All right, I'm making sure everything's closed. Yeah. Let me get everything closed. All right. Sorry, if that happens again, I'll have to be the one to leave, huh? <laughs> what the? Um, but then we can't see the game. Then they can't. Then they can't see the game. Oh man! I'd have to like. I know. I'd have to audio. It's I'd okay. Have to audio cap. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. It's all okay. right. I think we're good. Okay. It was a weird. Yeah. I don't think my computer was ready for the hotness that I was bringing to town. So it's no, cool. Okay. All right. Yeah. I've got all unnecessary programs closed. Oh, except Steam. Uh-oh. There we go. Get out of here, Find Steam. Some, there we find go. some Battlefield, uh, Battlefield 3. I did have that up on my second monitor. I've closed it now. My attention is fully on the game. Anyway, we should do some intros real quick. Left side of the map. Probably. The uh, French-Canadian Protoss. Uh, you guys have probably seen him around. Formerly of uh, Rage Gaming for a little while there. Uh, and who was he on before the VT? Yes, I know he was on uh, VT. Formerly Apple. VT. Uh, the score right now is 1-0 TLO. Oh, I get that overlay up. Um it's 1-0 to TLO right now. We uh, missed the first game there. I'll uh, I'll get working on getting that overlay up real quick. And uh, I'll throw it on the actual cam. And uh, you can uh, uh -oh. introduce pressure, TLO real pressure quick. Pressure's on. Yeah. yeah, on the right side of the map, we have the Purple Terran player, TLO, representing Team Liquid. And this is a best-of-five show match. TLO is already up 1-0, so taking an early lead in this series. Of course, what's at stake, you're probably asking. Pride and $50. So I'll have to see what happens here. TLO going Supply Depot Command Center. Um, a little unusual, but Desro at the same time going a Pylon, Gateway, Gas, Nexus. So both these players are going to be taking relatively fast expansions, barring a cancellation and some sort of crazy metagame, uh, you know, uh, rush attack. But we'll have to wait and see. I don't expect these players to cancel their expansions. It's a show match. It's for fun. It's for the fans. They want to sure play a long game. They want to have good games. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this ends up being one. I think it will, Wombat. You know what, man? I think so, too. I got a lot of faith in these guys showing the fans what they love. Desro, regardless of uh, how his... Uh, he can be a pretty BM guy, and I, I feel bad bringing that up over and over again, but uh, he can be a pretty BM guy when he's in a bad mood. When he's, he loves the fans, man, as much as a lot of people do. You know, like guys like TLO. TLO is known for loving the fans. Guys like White yeah. Raw. Well, nobody can love the fans as much as White Raw, but certainly True. Desro tries. That's a, that's a valid point. And, like, Desro, he's, he's the one who put all this, you know, all this together, uh, made it all happen. So definitely a, a great a great guy in that respect. And uh, looking forward to seeing how he's going to play this out. Has a warp gate on the way. Carter boosting out a stalker. I think last game I didn't catch all of it. I want to say... It was a similar. It was a similar kind. A similar kind of opening from him, like a relatively fast expand. And again, not too surprising to see, considering you know, again, it is a show match. It is for the fans. And uh, yeah, look at this TLO going to be landing the command center outside, at his natural. And we'll have to see what happens here. I mean, on this map, a lot of Protoss players don't really like it because you can't really engage the Terran because they have this little pocket, like three bases. There's no real true great uh, engagement location. So. Let's see what Desro ends up doing. I, 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 I would guess he's been preparing a lot for this. Um, but again, we'll have to see one about. Yeah, like you say. Well, I believe he's he's got like a show match series going on, right? But uh, oh, does he? Oh, I didn't know. That. Yeah. So 
I, I, I believe I saw a Desiree show match a couple weeks ago. That or I had a really weird dream and uh, there was a French Canadian in it and uh, I just got really confused. But, yeah, I mean, Desiree, he practices a lot. The guy puts in a lot of time. TLO, same story over there. And like I said, man, yes. like the big thing on my mind right now is that uh, is that repetitive stress injury for TLO. You know, best of five, mm -hmm. man, that's a long time. Hopefully his wrist is in good shape. Well, I've been thinking that pretty much the entire time. Um because I love me some TLO. I always want his, uh, his wrist to be in good shape so he can show us the uh, the best stuff. Oh, yeah, and by the best stuff, of course, you mean StarCraft yeah, 2. What, so what happened? Overlay. I had it on Terran instead of... I forgot to change Desiree's race. <sighs> Wombat, Desiree's a Protoss. You know this. I, well, I just forgot to click the buttons. Anyway... Observer coming out okay. for Desro, so he can go get himself some some delicious information. Got three extra gates coming down. Mm -hmm. uh, no, just standard, just five gate robo. That's nice, man. They're showing the they're showing some long game stuff. Now you're lagging. Uh, it was only for a, a hot second, though. I'll eat. You'll eat what? Okay, well, not 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 during a major altercation, which is good. Uh, but if it does happen again. Yeah, I well, we're trying to, to be uh, wary here. We, I think our, our computers were just, they weren't warmed up, man. We hop straight into it. They're like, what? why are you doing this to us? I know, man. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm on my laptop, so it yeah, kind of sucks, but, you, you know, it, it is what it is. Guys, Axel Toss, my buddy here. I, I may have linked a hilarious Halloween-related porn, and... Uh, he looked at it and got a virus because he can't even look at porn without getting a virus, and because um, he loves the porn, and that's, uh, oh, that's what happened. What? I trusted you, man. I, I see a link from my buddy, my buddy Wombat on Twitter. You know, I want to click on it. Yeah, no, I can I dig that. Is. And I said, I said, hey, man, the XX Exorcist, and it was awesome. I mean, it was a really good flick. <laughs> Twilight Council coming you know, down from Desra. At a forge. Very, uh, very cryptic way of sharing things. I'm not sure I approve. You should approve. Just really heavy. I don't, I, honestly, like I straight up, I don't think that's the reason. To go in straight mass marine right now is that what's going on from TLO? Uh, yeah, that's a lot of marines. Mass, Medivacs as well. Yeah, mass marine I versus <laughs> chargelets and immortals. Hmm. That's not gonna. That's not gonna end well for TLO. But uh, hey, man, maybe he's got the micro and the the drippy droppies. He can put stuff wherever he needs to put it and uh, get some serious work done here. Maybe he's gonna hit with a pretty nice timing there. Charge isn't gonna be done, but uh, obviously with that observer sitting up top there, Desro gonna know absolutely everything that's coming flying across. Uh, engineering bay on the way down. Hey, man, what are your thoughts? What are your yeah, thoughts? I mean. Desiree sees this coming, and I'm a little worried. He has four sentries yeah, here, and, you know, it's great for force fields, but not a huge fighting army. Some stalkers on the higher ground has to be really careful. His force fields have to be perfect here. Maybe try to get a marine donut. And stemming forward is TLO to the national expansion of Desiree. He has to back up. Be very careful, Wombat. Oh, force fields go down, and it looks like... Hard to tell right now. Yeah, the, the uh, maneuvering for TLO really made up for... Uh, Desiree had good positioning there, but uh, TLO... With that stim maneuvering, got uh, got himself out of a sticky spot really, really quickly there. Got a little bit of damage done. Now he's in a bit more open space, so TLO is going to feel like he can be aggressive. Charge is done, however, so those zealots are going to get up there as quick as they need to. But sadly, there aren't a lot of them out, and the uh, Marines, oh. with that huge medevac count up top, are just so very sturdy. Uh, bringing, some, uh, bringing some probes off the line, now trying to focus down. The uh, Medivacs does get through the first one. Second one, not quite going to go down. Uh, no, he does get it. Got him. And got the Marines as well. So TLO down to 71 supply. Desro does take a bit of a hit there. And uh, the one thing about Mass Marine, if TLO wants to, uh, even Marine Marauder, as he's starting to go now, uh, finally starting to get some Marauders into the mix, he can re-up really, really quickly um, as long as he's got the, you know, the barracks count where it needs to be. Yeah, that's very true, and that's exactly what he's trying to do here, and Desro immediately going to be taking a third. Um, you know, it's it's a decent idea, but again, you can get really spread out on this map because your first is so far away from your third. Easy 
for TLO to drop the third at the same time as, as, as the back of the first. So Desro has to be aware of that. That's why he has some stalkers in his main base to watch out for that. And uh, most of his army at the front of his natural expansion. TLO putting down a command center as well. Uh, about 20% of the way through. Probably going to float that over to the bottom right hand location. Unless he decides that he wants to take the gold first. But just taking down the rocks leading toward that natural third. So probably going to be taking that. Um, it's, it's pretty safe to assume, but Desro is ahead 112 to 96 supply. TLO making lots of Marines and Marauders out of those barracks. Has some upgrades out of those engineering bays uh, coming out. We have plus two weapons out there of we the uh, out of one and plus one armor out of the other. So uh, interesting game. We also have Mobius Reactor coming out of the Ghost Academy, and EMPs <coughs> can just tear apart a Protoss army. Like that. Absolutely, and. Uh Desro coming a little late. I mean, he went Twilight Council first and then got charge out front. So um, now I'm not really sure if he was thinking of maybe going charge with Archon and then he saw Mass Marine and now he's getting the robotics pay. But that robotics pay is a little bit late there. Um, so, you know, he's going to be a little bit late to the party on starting to get the Colossus count up. So there'll be ghosts out. And then, you know, he's not going to need, Tilo's not going to need to ramp up on Viking production all that quickly. And he's already got a reactor at Starport. So, you know. He'll be in pretty good shape right there. I do like that the uh, Zealot count's getting pretty high. Chartlets are one of my favorite things. And there's a nuke. They are definitely thinking about the fans in this game. Awesome. Nuke on the way. TLO stimming up to the high ground. Going to be backing up extremely fast. There are force fields um, available for the use by Desro. But uh, TLO going to get out of there. Throwing down a scan. Trying to get rid of any observers. The observer ends up getting away. And, this, I don't know, TLO not doing a lot of damage here, stimming his Marines and Marauders quite a bit, which of course, you know, depletes their health, which is something you never want to have happen. Um, but the Medivacs do have their work cut out for him, and Desro protecting this third, and, and that's obviously a really good thing for him. Has some Colossi on the way, as well as Ground Armor Level 3 and Ground Weapons Level 1, so really favoring those armor, those armor upgrades at this point in the game in TLO, yes. Nuke number one finished, and nuke number two is on the way. Gotta love it. And one of the interesting things for me is that TLO, um, he opted to go ahead and take the third up top with an orbital rather than get a planetary at the gold base, um, which is just mm -hmm. sort of just sort of interesting to me. You know, like it's so easy to hold on to that gold base, but uh, there's only six patches. Maybe wanted a little bit longer economy there rather than the quick boost that he'd get. He, it's just going to slow build, maybe. Maybe he just didn't feel quite safe enough where he was, because he did give up a lot of Marines early on, didn't want to try uh, risking that gold base. And it looks like TLO moving with a huge drop to the lower left side of the map. There are two ghosts in those medevacs as well, so look out for the nuke to happen and with this army. He may do it in the in the direction of the ramp where the where the, uh, where the army of Desro is coming. There's the nuke. two nukes going down from a TLO, but will Desro be able to kill this off before the nukes actually go down? Keep in mind, the ghosts are cloaked. I don't know if there's an observer oh, in this army. Down. The ghosts are still alive. The nukes are going to go down, but there's no army there oh. to reveal it. And yes, the nukes go down, but don't hit much. Uh, I think they did about 50 health to that forge. So that's yeah. it. Yeah, a couple of pylons going down, but they weren't powering anything. So not the most cost-effective nukes. But hey, man, there's more on the way. Because uh, if there's one thing about nukes, there's always more where the first one came from. And that's what I like to see, man. Don't give up on the nuke. Love the nuke. And the nuke will love you yeah, back. There's a, there's a hero SCV in the top left going to work on some probes there. He is up to, actually, he's at zero kills. The Marine, stealing all, the Marine is stealing all the kills, has three. And the SCV is having trouble nicking on the, the plus three, the plus two armor of these probes. Um, it's quite interesting indeed. But uh, I don't know, man. A pretty even game right now. Desert up 147 to 144 supply. Colossi is still in the way. Continue with those upgrades. And two more nukes on the way for TLO. Uh, I don't know, man. It's pretty even. I would say yeah. Desro has, has a little bit of a, a little bit of an edge here. Yeah, he's uh, he's actually his economy is looking really nice as far as the money he's got sort of sitting around, and he's not really rushing to uh, to warp stuff in. Might be a little low on gateways, but in general, he's looking pretty good. He's keeping those upgrades coming. He's got the Colossi on the way, and we've got a nuke. It's going uh -oh. somewhere. There we go. Gets it out of there immediately. Three nukes. Three nukes. <laughs> he's gonna take out. He's going to take out some pylons with this. Yeah, um, he is. Yep, there goes one pylon. Ooh, actually taking out the wow. fourth Twilight Council. Almost getting the Twilight Council, so that was probably worth it. Wombat, well, some stalkers going into the main, going to clean up these ghosts with the Observer overhead. But I'm sure TLO was happy, was happy with the amount of damage those nukes actually yeah, did. Yeah, he would probably, I mean, the only other thing is in Dream World, you'd want to get that cybernetics core. He didn't quite yeah. get it. But like a, just a tiny little drop will clean that up. There's no health, 70 health left on that cybernetics core. 
Uh, it doesn't look like TLO's too concerned about it, but man, those, uh, you kind of forget, man, that those things, they do 500 damage versus buildings, I think it is, unless they nerf the nuke at some point, and I'm just using my uh, super old knowledge of the nuke, but uh, they're pretty scary. If they hit dead center, that is to say. Yeah, of course, and obviously, like, the ideal situation, you want to hit the army of your opponent. Desro coming to the middle of the map here. I'm not sure about this decision. Keep in mind, there's no sentries in this army, no High Templar, only one Colossus. And Tilo is getting into position here. I feel like he can take this out with relative ease. A bunch of scans going down, trying to spot those observers so he can cloak his ghosts. And there we go, Ghost leading the charge, either to throw down an EMP or a nuke. But Desert has to be very careful, does not want to engage in a place where it does not uh, give him the advantage. With only two Colossi here, I'm a little bit nervous for him. Yeah, second Robo finally coming out uh, for Desro. I feel like that's a little bit overdue. I honestly thought he had more Colossi than that. I'm not really sure what went down there. Uh, but yeah, I thought he had at least like two Colossus out. Uh, but you haven't looked at his army in a while, so... Uh, oh, no, he's got three. So, yeah, with that second Robo coming up, he'll be able to up his army pretty nicely. Those charges are going to do a great job getting out front and tanking. And there is a... Uh, ooh... He's going to engage, and Desro apparently not paying attention. This could be huge. It's Colossi. If TLO holds the line here, we'll be right underneath it. Oh, it looks like they're going to get out of the way. Uh. Just in time, TLO could not hold the line there. The ghost gets killed, and uh, that's it for that nuke. He's dropping one on his own army. Oh, no. <laughs> now he's going to have to run forward to miss his own nuke. Cancels that. Dropping the nuke forward again, but he is not going to get Desro to turn around, I don't believe. He is in full retreat there. Uh, oh, well. Oh no. He's oh, trying. No. TLO. Don't be nuke his... arms. No, he's gonna TLO, get it. It's gonna hit the entire Oh my area. god! Oh, god, Desro loses his entire army to a nuclear missile from TLO. Everything but the Colossi going down right there. And uh, uh. they're undefended right now. But TLO's army in rough shape. Desro immediately down to 111 supply, though. He is gonna have to use that bank that he's got. Going straight for some Psy Storm and some High Templars. That's a very good idea because he needs to be cost effective now like never before. Oh my god, that was that was the biggest nuke I have ever seen. That was um, awesome. That was like the whole honestly, army. I, Just all we needed were the I, Colossus in there. That would have been Desro's entire army in one nuke. That was absolutely insane. TLO, you clever, clever man. Uh, Stimming forward to the watchtower here. Looks like he's not done coming Nuke forward once gold. again. Desro doesn't gold. have a storm done yet, so gold. that high temple is going to get sniped down pretty quickly. Oh, he's going to get everything at the gold. Bam. Everything at the gold gone. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. my God. Desro is basically going to be forced to attack here. There's not. He can't wait on too much more. He's got to get some chargelets and some archons. I mean, I guess he's going to wait for Storm, but, you know, that hurts, man. He does still have his third base up and running. His second base is pretty much mined out, though. Uh, he, so he does have stuff he can transfer over. Where is that nuke? It's uh, in the main. In the main. Okay. Mike, the Cybercore. Oh, maybe, yeah. But there's an engagement in the middle of the map. Maybe, no. No, so that's not quite going to be the Cybercore. Did he kill it? No, oh, it, it's close. 500 versus The rest of the drop wall, though. Yeah, yeah. Um... But at this point, I'm not sure how much that really matters. I mean, TLO, uh, I, I don't think it can be... Actually, there's a drop in the bottom right here. High Templars, he got some storms off on those SEVs, so so pretty cool move there by Desro, trying to show the Protoss can do some nifty stuff as well. Um, Marines could try to, to focus down that war prison, but they're not actually going to do that. Another nuke going down in the main onto the forge, and the pylon will go down, delaying uh, that upgrade. And it's that, actually such forge. a great way to soften up buildings, because it just eats the shield immediately. Uh, get some nice EMPs off in the core of the group there, but uh, he does not have enough army here to really deal with anything. Um, and <laughs> War Prism just still sitting there. It does have Gravitic Drive, though, so it can get away. Desiree are going to be able to get that thing out of there, man. I love how sturdy that thing is after the patch and with Gravitic Drive. You just you can't stop it. Actually, you're lagging out, buddy. Uh, is, it, is it passed? Yeah, it went. It was just a really quick little thing. All right, tell me if it happens again. I will. Alright, thank you. It was just a quick little one and they weren't fighting, so... I think they'll forgive you. Why did you, what awesome. you doing breaking your computer, man? I don't know, dude. I think I may restart my computer and leave this game early. But this game is so good right now. Yeah, Desro has actually come back admirably in supply for a guy who just got his entire army blown up. Um, he did have a pretty nice little trust fund. They're actually pretty even on economy right now. Um, 
Yeah, Desro with like a 500 minerals wow. per minute lead there. TLO has not been uh, dropping dropping the macro action. Wow. The uh, worker count's 56 to 46. So, I mean, mules right. should catch that up. Getting a feedback on those uh, medevacs there. The Twilight Council's going to go down. That's really the biggest problem for Desro right now is loss of tech. Yes. And also, if you look at the workers killed, I mean, Desro has almost killed as many workers as TLO has. Um, I think most of that was done with the, with those storm drops that that I I missed on. I'm not sure if you caught it with the camera. No, I was following. Um, but Desert definitely something. doing a lot of harassment here and adding on a dark shrine. So he's not done with his harassment. But the story here is, he's only on two mining bases and he's lost his entire main. So he has to rebuild all of his infrastructure in the top left, which of course is something you don't want to spend your resources on at this point in the game. But TLO going to be losing a lot of ghosts here and probably some medevacs. Um, I don't know, man. I think TLO is still in a very comfortable situation, yeah. uh, but will he be prepared for these DTs? Well, that's the thing right here is as I feel like Desro's got a pretty strong army. It's 191 army supply to 151, but there's some serious cost effectiveness in Desro's army. Those Archons are just going to sit there and tank damage. As long as he doesn't get hit with too many EMPs, you know, he, he still should be able to make at least a little bit happen with the army that he's got sitting there, you know, bring in a couple extra charglets and uh, do what you can. Desra trying to take a fourth, but TLO, once again, just everywhere, man. It's so hard to get anything done like that. Um, I believe Desro does have the upgrade advantage right now. It's 3-2 versus 2-3. Yeah, so it's pretty much evened out there um, with... Uh, the third armor on the way. Desro hasn't been able to finish up his three weapons, so that could come into play uh, as the game rolls on. Yeah, and I really want to see the, the kill count on these High Templars inside this war prism at the, at the bottom side of the map. I hope. I wish there was a way to see that, you but uh, I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on that. Can you? I can't. No, you can't. You can just click them. Yeah, once they get, once they get dropped. Yeah. But here we go. We may have a huge engagement in the middle of the map here. Desro coming to the middle of the watchtower as is TLO. Two nukes going down from TLO. Going to try to bait Desro forward once again, but Desro not going to take the bait this time. Going to be backing away, looking for that tiny red dot, and TLO canceling those nukes. Yeah, very uh, very nicely done there by Desro. I mean, of course he's uh, he's trying to delay an engagement pretty much as long as he can here, and rightfully so. Uh, he got hit really hard by a couple of nukes there. His gold base got shut down. He hasn't been able to get a fourth up, and now he probably really wants to buy time for that to happen. Those immortals tanking out front a little bit, but uh, uh -oh. TLO could get trapped in a pretty tough little spot here, but the nuke is going to start coming down. The chargelets are out, so at least something's going to explode here. But will it be TLO's army? He has not started backing up yet. Is he just going to let the nuke land? Oh no, the God. Colossi are in there. He's oh just going to give up his entire it. army. Oh, he got the ghost. Oh, the ghost died. Where's the observer? I don't see the oh. observer. TLO <laughs> was going to nuke everything. Oh, my God. And now TLO down to 112 supply. That was a terrible engagement for him. Yeah. And that nuke not he getting off that, was huge. He needed that nuke to land. To it make looks that like there was a him. drop in the gold line as well. If this nuke does make it down, however, he may get himself back in it. The Archons are under it. Looks like he's seen the red dot. And... Uh, TLO going to cancel those nukes at the last minute. The uh, gold base did get got just a little bit, but it uh, looks like the HTs, actually all of them got out of there A-OK, -okay, but uh, it dropped in the gold base just a little bit. Didn't get too much done there, I don't think. Uh, yeah, 42. He's about to drop here in the bottom right. No, he can't. There's a Marauder there, so not going to do that. I want him to drop him, though, so I can see the kill count. But here we go. Desro going to the natural expansion of TLO. Does he have enough to defend this? No EMPs going off just yet. Not that I saw. And TLO pulling some SCVs as well just to run right by and uh, Tilo's uh, pretty dead man yeah there's the uh, GHG wow from uh, TLO oh my god what a game man. really really nice game right there out of both players man that just went back and forth yeah that was that was absolutely that was absolutely the most insane game yeah that oh was really god. good I TLO Bringing the nukes out, man, in force. Probably saw, like, 30 nukes get launched in that game. Uh, one of them getting in great. I, w I was with you on that second one, man. Like, I wanted to see everybody's army explode. But, uh, sadly, the ghost. The yeah, ghost that would have been nice. Yeah. I miss him. Um, I miss that ghost. I wanted to giggle at him. That was so close. Like, I don't... I, I didn't see an observer in that army. Yeah, so, I mean, it really must have been in there somewhere. 
Yeah, I mean, I imagine so. But, but um, uh, what can you do? It's rough. What can you? It's a it's rough close. life. But uh, yeah, it's... we'll go to a we'll go to a game three. Best of five set here between TLO. Let me pop that scoreboard. Let's get a little bam right there. Yep. It's one one right mm -hmm. now, guys. They're tied one to one. So we got a series on our hands, Wombat. Yeah. You gotta stop missing them drops, man. I'm putting that on you. Ah, oh, I wanted to see the the kills on this High Templar. Oh, yeah. well. Even the even the chat. Look at Jahan. He says he's gonna come and touch you. Wait. Right on your time out. You're not on my vision, are you? Yeah. What the heck, man? I'm always on the axle cam. What are you talking I about? I didn't even know that. I said it at the start of the match. I was like, I'm on the axle cam now. Here I was just derping around. See? Oh my gosh. Static you stuff derping around, man. You see, Wombat? I got a I got a high level of professionalism. You gotta you gotta observe. My computer's too laggy, I think. No, um, no. No. Wombat. No, on, I'm way no. No, I'm lazy. Oh, oh my god. I, getting, I had no idea I was observing. I'm not getting paid for that. Okay, well now that I know, I'll uh 